Yo, you with the boys in Prague, we checking out this and that. Now we going up a tower, looking at the view. See you there. Wow, hey, Kevin. Fun. Yeah. What you got? Introduce yourself to the viewers. Guys, I'm Kevin. I'm Felix's best friend. Well, I'm uh, Constantine, and I'm uh, 18 years old, so I'm a friend of Felix, and I take drugs all the time. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? First, we went up on the tower because Kevin and Consti wanted an overview. Then, we looked at Charles Bridge, because Kevin and Consti were tourists. Then we had some nice Czech beer and goulash because Kevin and Consti were hungry. In the morning we had breakfast because Kevin and Consti were hungry yet again. That day, we looked at the cathedral and the castle, because it's all so beautiful. At the castle, we looked at the change of guards. Because Kevin and Consti were tired, we took some time off relaxing on a paddling boat on the Moldau. Last but not least, ladies, gents, and all others, we have three recommendations for you in Prague. First of all, we highly recommend for everyone to climb up to the Petrine Tower on their first day. It's a beautiful, stunning view all over Prague, and it's a great way to get an overview over the city before you explore all of the little streets. Secondly, on a very, very serious note, we would like you to recommend to visit the crypt of the Saint Cyril and Methodius Church. Here, several resistance fighters hid after they assassinated Reinhard Heydrich, a high-ranking Nazi in Prague in 1942. It was one of the greatest acts of wartime resistance in occupied Europe. The story and the energy in the place down there, where finally the resistance fighters had to commit suicide when the Gestapo found out about their hiding place, is absolutely stunning. Not only in a good way, but very, very humbling. I will add a link to a BBC article about this event in the description below. Last but not least, we would like to recommend the Kafka Museum to you. Franz Kafka was a German novelist that lived in Prague in the early 20th century. He had a very depressing life and nevertheless was able to write great pieces of literature. Yo, so that was our vlog of three days in Prague. 
I hope to be traveling with Kevin and Consti soon again, but for now, peace out.